5.9 liter Magnum V8. Now live, this is NBC5, the Texas News Channel. Feels like, like March to me, really. Unseasonably warm temperatures are making it easier for kids, young and old, to enjoy their Christmas presents. Good evening, everyone. I'm Michael Scott, in for Mike Snyder. And I'm Sabrina Smith. Jane McGarry also has the night off. Everyone is talking about this warm weather we're having. In fact, if you want a taste of winter, you'll have to go outdoors. NBC5's Rhonda Hughes joins us live from Grapevine Mills Mall with the story. Sabrina, actually, I'm probably at the chilliest place in town. I'm at Polar Ice. It's a brand new ice rink that just opened at Grapevine Mills Mall. You can see the action has already started with some hockey on the ice tonight. But we talked to a lot of folks who were outside soaking up the sun. Maybe their last chance. Here we the warm weather is bringing kids outside in teams. In Flower Mound, they're checking out hockey gear they opened on Christmas. It's freaky. I thought, when I came here, I thought it was going to be snowing really a lot because I've never really lived by snow. Brandon Toffoli and his family moved here from California, but even his native Texan friends say skating through Christmas with this weather isn't the norm. I've lived here all my life, and it's really the first year it hasn't like really hailed or anything, like sleeted or anything. So. Scott Perry won't get bored on a beautiful day like this. He's finishing a home project. It's a great day to be working outside and get some odd jobs done are cheering the sunshine and say they don't need snow to enjoy this holiday season. Being able to get out and play with the toys that they got for Christmas is, to me is uh, a little nicer than being cooped up inside. <laughs> but back at the hockey game, these boys say a little variety would be a nice score. In fact, the kids we talked to say, yeah, this warm weather is great to be outside playing with the Christmas gifts, but frankly, it's getting a little boring. If you want to break the boredom, you can come inside, get a little bit chilly here at Polar Ice. This ice rink opens to the public at 7.30 tonight. Reporting live, Rhonda Hughes, NBC5, Grapevine Mills Mall. Thanks a lot, Rhonda. So will this beautiful weather continue this week? You may have noticed the wind has picked up out there. NBC5 Chief Meteorologist David Finfrock joins us now from the Weather Center with details. David? Yeah, Michael, that wind has picked up, and that means it is going to change a bit. But look how nice it was this afternoon. Upper 60s around the area. Officially, our high was 69. But that is going to change. A cold front is sweeping through the region, bringing a gusty north wind as it moves down through the area. And it's going to bring uh, not only the gusty wind, but some colder temperatures later on tonight. Expect it to be down near freezing in the morning. Now, of course, we did have clear skies. The shuttle just touched down at 6.01. We'll have some pictures for you in a few minutes. Unfortunately, it wasn't as spectacular this time as we had hoped. We'll have more details on the forecast just ahead. Thank you very much, David. It's one of the busiest travel days of the holiday season, but it may be just the beginning of North Texans' travels. As NBC5's Heidi Browning reports, now is the time of year for great year-ending deals. 160,000 passengers are expected to travel through DFW Airport today, many on their way home from the holidays. I don't like to travel this time of year. You know, it's busy, but it's worth it. Others are starting a New Year's adventure. Well, I guess this year we thought it was kind of special with the, um, millennium. With the millennium. So that's why this trip was planned basically two years ago. This group from Ontario left home at 3 this morning. They're headed to Mexico to celebrate on the beach as soon as their delayed plane arrives. This is exciting, but it's exhausting. And we got a couple sick kids, and that's OK. Uh, we're going to get there. Have a good time. Even if you don't have big plans or want to travel over New Year's Day, there are some great fares. Travel expert Tom Parsons says there are deals on hot destinations right now, including Orlando. He's taking advantage of cheap flights and hotel rooms in Las Vegas. So if you're thinking of New York City at the last minute, or maybe just a midweek getaway like I'm doing, if you leave in the middle of the week, come back before New Year's, still spend time at home, you can do that. And after the first of the year, forget it. I think it's going to even be a bigger gold mine. He says the travel industry shot itself in the foot with high prices. Now that many people want to avoid the expense and hassle of New Year's travel, those prices are dropping daily. 
So if you thought travel was not going to be part of your New Year's plans, you might want to think again. You could spend the first few days of the year 2000 on a great, inexpensive trip. Heidi Browning, NBC5, DFW Airport. And Mr. Parsons says many of the low fares are available with no advanced purchase. Look for deals in the days ahead to Mexico, Europe, and South America. Maybe leaving soon. Okay. <laughs> Ready to take down your Christmas tree, but not sure what to do with it? Several North Texas communities are asking that you recycle this year. NBC5's Carmen Dexter has more. Christmas is barely past, but these trees will soon be just a memory. North Texans are encouraged to recycle your fresh cut trees whenever possible. The Christmas trees, of course, if we put them into the landfill, will be taking up space that we desperately need to save for the regular household refuse. Some make tree recycling a family affair. There are four locations in Dallas where you can drop trees off. They are Flagpole Hill, the Northwest Transfer Station, the Southwest Transfer Station, and McComas Bluff Landfill. At Flagpole Hill and the Northwest Transfer Station, you can pick up free mulch. Just bring your own shovel and container. The city of Dallas is accepting all fresh-cut Christmas trees, but they do ask that you remove the tinsel from the branches and also take the tree stand off before bringing the Christmas tree by. You're also asked not to wrap the trees in plastic. In Irving, that city's Christmas tree roundup provides five drop-off sites. Again, they ask that you leave nothing but a bare tree. The Irving sites will be open through January 9th. In Dallas, you can drop trees off until Saturday, January 8th. Carmen Dexter, NBC5, Dallas. And while you are asked to remove all decorations from the trees, those that have been flocked will be accepted for recycling. Well, ours is just about this high, so it doesn't matter what happens to it. Unless you have a tree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're right, you don't have a tree. Just a month after sharing his battle with cancer, listeners turned on the radio to hear a familiar voice this morning. The story coming up next. Plus, how will the appliances around your home stand up to Y2K? Details a little later. And the Dallas Cowboys may get a chance at postseason play. Scott Murray explains it all later in sports. Live from NBC5, the Texas News Channel, Jane McGarry, Mike Snyder, Chief Meteorologist David Finfrock, and Sports Director Scott Murray. This is NBC5. If you plan to pop the cork this New Year's, we've got the top champagnes on the market. Find out which have the best taste, the best values, and if there really is a shortage this year. Watch Sabrina Solutions tonight at 10 on NBC5. Genital herpes. It's not the end of your life. It happens to nice people. Maybe even you. And if you're in a relationship, it affects both you and your partner. We're conducting a research study in monogamous heterosexual couples to test a medication to determine if it may help prevent the spread of genital herpes. If you or your partner have genital herpes, please call 1-888-842-4721. Talk to your partner. Get in touch with us today. People call it smart, thrilling, the place for values. Toyotathon 2000, the blockbuster event filled with great Toyota values. Your ride to the new millennium is here. Are you ready to go? Right now, get $1,000 cash back on a new 2000 Camry or Solara. Camry, the best-selling car in America two years in a row. Get to Toyotathon 2000. Now playing exclusively at your North Texas Toyota dealer. Dateline NBC. Unforgettable stories night after night. We lay there and prayed to God. Dateline. Now on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. Dateline NBC. A new poll shows more than two-thirds of Tarrant County residents believe the government needs to enforce current gun laws rather than create new ones. The Fort Worth Star-Telegram poll was taken two months after the deadly shootings at Wedgwood Baptist Church in Fort Worth. Eight people were killed when a gunman opened fire during a youth rally. In the survey, 55% say there should be tougher restrictions on gun sales, and 49% say limits on gun ownership should be stricter. A popular radio personality was back on the air this morning. For you it is, I'm friend. in the right place at the right time, and uh, good to be back. I'll tell you what, what hello, it's been over a month, hasn't it? 
The Dorsey gang is back intact now that KSCS morning radio personality Terry Dorsey has returned to work. Just a month ago, an emotional Dorsey told his country music listeners he's battling prostate cancer. He underwent surgery November 24th, and he says he might need some radiation treatments in the future, but he's confident that the potentially deadly cancer was caught just in time. Good luck to him. He's a nice guy, too. There are just four days and a little less than six hours until the year 2000. She's got this countdown in her head going. <laughs> so will your home appliances survive the date change? We'll take a look at the possibility for problems next. We'll also look at the problems that this front may cause. Certainly, it's brought us a gusty wind over the last few hours. That's going to move on to the south. We'll have the details for what to expect the rest of this week. Our forecast just ahead. You're watching NBC5 News at 6. People have been using one word over and over to describe a show called Freaks and Geeks. That word is best. From magazines like Time and Entertainment Weekly to newspapers all over America, Freaks and Geeks is being called the best. In fact, TV Guide named it one of the very best of 1999. How do I get back down? It's 1980, and this is what high school was like for the rest of us. Freaks and Geeks, moving to NBC Mondays at 8, 7 central. The Lincoln Great American Luxury event is taking shape now at your Lincoln dealers with great year-end incentives on the uncompromised Lincoln Town Car. Imitated but never equaled. Lease one now for just $4.99 a month for 36 months with $22.50 cash to its signing. Talk about eventful. The Lincoln Great American Luxury event featuring Lincoln Town Car, part of the best-selling luxury line in Texas. It all ends January 3rd, so hurry and see your Lincoln dealer today. Still a few items left on your holiday wish list? Perhaps Haverty's can help, especially now during our after Christmas clearance sale. You can make your holiday complete right down to the last detail with special savings throughout our showroom and 12 months no interest financing. Haverty's after Christmas clearance sale. A stylish ending to a perfect holiday. During the past century, Ford made automotive history countless times. And to bring the century to a close, we're doing it again. Presenting 20th Century Clearance from your Texas Ford dealers. It's the biggest truck sales event in history and your chance to save on the best-selling trucks in Texas. Right now, get a brand new Ford Ranger for just $1.99 a month. That's $1.99 a month for the best-selling compact pickup in Texas. For the best deals around, get to your Texas Ford dealer today, because when clearance ends, it's history. Tonight's weather is sponsored in part by Lexus. If you're planning on being in downtown Dallas for the Millennium Celebrations, Dallas Area Rapid Transit is ready to go. Dart officials say they've spent $15 million in several hundred hours making sure they're ready for the year 2000. But as a precaution, the Rail Control Center will suspend all train service at bridges, tunnels, and overpasses from 11.55 until 12.15 a.m. And this is part of a nationwide plan to avoid problems. And DART officials urge anyone planning to park and ride to buy a day pass. A $2 ticket will provide you unlimited rides for a 24-hour period. Tickets are just a dollar for children. Bus and light rail service will operate as late as 2 a.m. for all the New Year's Eve revelers downtown. While everyone checks their computers for problems at the stroke of midnight January 1st, what about your home appliances? NBC5's Rhonda Hughes has some tips to get you through any Y2K glitches in your home. As the millennium approaches, most people are wondering how life will be after the clock strikes midnight. All the speculation is enough to make your head spin. All in all, I feel pretty good about it. Hopefully I'll be right. <laughs> we'll know in a few days, right? <laughs> Southwestern Bell says phone service will work, but there could be congestion and busy signals if everyone picks up the phone at midnight. And power? TXU has had its eye on Y2K for three years and says it has untangled every possibility of problems. Like, how do you know if your appliances will keep time with the new millennium? I think things with timers in them, like maybe a VCR or maybe the, uh, the sprinkler system, something, the, the thermostat in the house that uses dates, but 
That's about the only thing that we've been a little concerned about. If you've shopped for appliances or electronics in the last five to seven years, your product should be ready for the year 2000. Your VCR is probably the most date-sensitive electronic item you have at home. If it's an older model, after January 1st, you may not be able to program it to record. But there could be a way around the glitch. You could guesstimate how your day would be, or you can go back 1972 as the same calendar as 2000. So you can use that, and it'll, the days will all come in the right place. As for appliances, like it your microwave, you dishwasher, or oven, oven the experts cold. tell us while they're programmed for time, dates are irrelevant. But strictly a clock, just like the clock you'd have by your nightstand. No calendar involved. It's just the time of day, when you want it to turn on, and when you want it to turn off. So while everyone is concerned about a new millennium, the chance of Y2 chaos with your home appliances is pretty slim. Rhonda Hughes, NBC5, Dallas. Every major appliance manufacturer has assured retailers there should not be Y2K-related problems. But if you do have questions, you should find a 1-800 number you can call in your owner's manual. Well, are the weather computers Y2K ready? <laughs> They're supposed to be. I'm told they are. <laughs> I'll trust the engineers on that one. Uh, the engineers were involved out at NASA today getting the space shuttle home. and. I just wish it had come about 30 or maybe 60 minutes later and we would have had a spectacular show. It came overhead and touched down in Florida right about uh, 6.01 our time, just about 15 minutes ago. Re pretty Thank shot as it down. touched down a little after sun uh, had gone down in Florida. But uh, here in our area, just wasn't as uh, spectacular a show as yeah, we've sometimes seen in the past. We could see Start it, though, if you looked at the right point in time. Uh, not real brilliant because the sun was still in the process of going down, but you can see this streak here uh, out over the Dallas skyline as the shuttle raced across the sky, but just not the impressive show that we have seen in the past because it hadn't gotten completely dark. Even though the sun was down, the sky was too bright for that glowing ionization trail to show up as it has on previous occasions. Today, 40 degrees was the low, 69 the high, well above normal. Typically, we'd range from 34 to 55, so you can see we were 14 degrees above the average high temperature on this day. Right now, still 57, the dew point 32. Humidity reads 39 percent, and the wind gusty out of the north. If you were outside trying to spot the shuttle, I'm sure you noticed that wind. It was uh, quite gusty ever since the front came through a little bit earlier, and it's still just right on top of the Metroplex, but we've got gusty north winds in the wake of that front. It's already down to 48 in Wichita Falls, 46 in Paris, but still in the 60s throughout central Texas where they haven't felt that gusty north wind as yet. A lot of clouds over deep south Texas, but uh, we were basically clear all day. There you can see that frontal boundary coming on down, and as it moves on across, uh, it has brought that gusty north wind with it. In the wake of the front, temperatures uh, certainly cooling down. Back behind this front, it has uh, really dropped throughout the central plains. Uh, 23 right now in Omaha. 13 in Minneapolis, or 7 up at Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. But the coldest air will be sliding to the east. We're just going to get a brief brush of the cooler temperatures tonight and in the morning. Uh, it'll be a little cooler tomorrow than it was today, but by Wednesday, we're going to find temperatures warming very steadily again. That's because the upper-level winds are pushing this front off to the east. It comes south and then slides east. So we'll just barely catch the edge of it, and then during the day tomorrow, we'll find this cool air starting to recede back towards the east coast, warmer air will move back across Texas, and by Wednesday and Thursday we'll be right back up there around 70 degrees again. So not typical for this time of year, but certainly very pretty as we round out this old year and head for the new one. Overnight clear, windy and colder, although the winds will be dropping off later tonight. Low 32, gusty north winds now 15 to 25, that will be diminishing by midnight. Sunny and mild, high of 57 on Tuesday. Then we warm up again, 68 tomorrow, 71 on Thursday. The next front cools us down a little bit for Friday and into the new year, but all in all, it's looking mighty nice. And remember, you can check out the weather anytime online. Just uh, give us a check on our website at NBC5DFW.com for all the latest. Well, thank you very much, David. Okay. Appreciate it. The Cowboys and their fans are keeping hope alive that they are going to see postseason play. Plus, the Longhorns and their arch enemies, the Razorbacks, are getting ready to go head-to-head -head at the Cotton Bowl. Scott Murray has the tales next in sports. You're watching NBC5 News at 6. Well, Scott Murray's down in Dallas where the beef is eating the beef.
Scott? <laughs> I tell you what, nobody's saying where's the beef tonight. I can tell you that. We're at Lowry's, the prime rib. And let me show you what some of the Texas football players have been up to during the course of the last hour. They have been eating, eating, and eating more. There's a Chris Sims, a Longhorns quarterback, among those uh, taking part in all the prime rib that's being given away free tonight. This is a tradition that actually began back in 1983. The two teams in the Cotton Bowl hosted on successive nights, given all the prime rib they can eat. And they certainly take advantage of it. Everybody having a great time tonight. Earlier today, the Longhorns were back out on the practice field, getting ready for Saturday's game against Arkansas at the Cotton Bowl. Bowl games are always a great experience, lots of fun for the student athletes. But hey, don't forget, there's still lots of work to be done. We felt like early in the bowl situation, we were so excited to go uh, that winning was important, but uh, the guys ended up having more fun than they played. And since that time, we've won our last two or three, and, and we feel like that uh, the way we practice has helped us, the attitude of the players has helped us, and they understand that uh, the mornings are ours, the afternoons are theirs, and there's functions at night. This uh, game right here is going to you know, carry us into the next millennium, and uh, it's, it's going to be real important for us to get this 10th win. As we told you last night on Sports Extra here on NBC5, the Cowboys still in the NFL playoff hunt, unbelievable as it might be. Jerry Jones spoke behind closed doors today with many of the players. All they would say is that Jerry got his message across and it was positive. Let's hope so. Dallas rules its own destiny right now. A win against the Giants on Sunday at Texas Stadium, and the Cowboys move on to the playoffs as a wild card participant. We have to go manufacture whatever it takes for this game and not depend on anything that's happened before the past we have to look at the past as past and the future never gets here what happens is this week this game this week nothing more nothing less another college football game played today the Motor City Bowl BYU and Marshall third quarter Marshall leading seven and three Doug Jackman goes 87 yards gets the touchdown Chapman on the day scoring three touchdowns all three that Marshall would score as Marshall ends the season undefeated outscoring BYU 21 3 the final here in Texas the Dallas Stars return to the ice tonight this is the first of six straight home games at a reunion San Jose always proves to be a tough opponent that will be the opponent tonight but Ed Belfour speaks for the entire team when he says staying focused will be the key tonight a good start in this series sets the sets the tone for the entire series at reunion i think it's important to get off to a good start whenever you have a home stand like this and uh, you know san jose has always been a tough opponent for us and uh, we have to make sure that uh, you know we compete hard tonight Kurt Thomas has the, initial the next Kurt Thomas right has been Taylor suspended Rose for two games and fined ten thousand dollars. Thomas found guilty of elbowing and punching Jalen Rose in the game Christmas night against the Pacers. Pacers. Both players were ejected uh, in the game, but Thomas found to have provoked the incident and the fight, and thus the two-game suspension and a fine of ten thousand dollars. The Mavericks back in the court tonight remain in California try and rebound from last night's loss in Sacramento as they travel down the coast to meet the Lakers and Shaq in Los Angeles we'll have the usual highlights of all this coming up tonight at 10 o'clock here on NBC 5 and now my friends it is time to eat I'm sorry a uh, medium rare man medium rare thank you <laughs> see you at 10 sounds good it's making me hungry okay. Scott thank you <laughs> two completely different worlds are colliding tonight coming up we'll show you this unlikely mix with a tasty turn you're watching NBC5 News at 6. I'd be right with you. Coming up tonight on NBC5 News at 10, more and more people are on the road during the holidays, but you'll want to watch your speedometer while traveling through one North Texas county. We'll tell you why tonight at 10. Plus, tips to help you pick the best bubbly for your New Year's Eve party. That's tonight at 10 here on NBC5. How do you combine an electric train exhibit and an open house for gingerbread homes? The people at the Fairmont Hotel in Dallas have figured out a way. They've built a miniature gingerbread village representing nine different countries, all connected with electric trains and stops. There's even a 12-foot-high walk-through gingerbread house. That sounds good. You can check out the trains in the gingerbread houses for yourself this weekend. I'm thinking of food still. I don't, <laughs> they say gingerbread trains that I want the food. A railroad with tasty stops. <laughs> Sounds good. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you back here at 10. Until then, you take care of one another. Good night. Good night. The GMC Convoy 2000 is here. Trucks with capability.